The name Muhammad Usman definitely rang around the world when he was able to drop his opponent in the second round that made him the TUF 30 champion. He is going into the UFC as one of the greatest fighters in the game with numerous submission victories and quick finishing of his opponents. His skills are like nothing we have seen in the game and are seen as a hybrid of different fighters. In fact, when he was asked about a little friendly spar he had with Francis Nagonu, he said, I know myself. I am a different kind of animal. While Francis just wants to knock you out, I want to do everything. And I know I'm a different type of animal when it comes to Francis is gonna knock you out. I wanna, I wanna do everything. Although he never always had it all smooth and sailing. Before we proceed with recounting the escapades of Muhammad Usman, kindly press the subscribe button to get more intriguing and explicit videos on this channel. Here we go. Muhammad Usman was born in 1989 in Auchi, a state in southern Nigeria. He has two older brothers, one of which is current welterweight champion Kamaro Usman. While his mother was a school teacher, his father started a career in the Nigerian army before switching to a career in pharmacy. Mohammed recalled that when he was much younger, he used to walk from house to house and everyone gave him a piece of bread. I used to walk from everybody's house and come in through the back door, or whatever, and they all give me a piece of A change of career was able to see Usman's dad move himself and his family from Nigeria to the US. Mohammed Usman was only six at the time they moved. They moved to Dallas, Texas to start a good life. Their adaption was not easy as Usman got into some troubles in school, but he was soon able to adapt. The two brothers practiced wrestling in their childhood days. However, the younger Usman chose to play American football. He took it to a professional level by joining his college's football team, while the older Usman chose to pursue his hobby, wrestling. As that that he said, I knew this was what I wanted to do. Nothing else excited me like football. I knew instantly that this is what I wanted to do. There was nothing else that, that even excited me more than football at that time. Kamaru Usman was the first of the brothers to go into the MMA in 2012, which is to be expected as he started much earlier than Mohamed Usman. Although he went into the MMA after he had failed to qualify for the US Olympic team trials in freestyle wrestling, he would later go on to make a name for himself in the MMA. On seeing his brother's success, Mohamed Usman, after so many years of playing American football, decided to join the wrestling game after losing the hope of becoming a professional football player. He attributes his interest in the sport and willingness to give it a try solely to his brother based on the success he had achieved. He was below the weight required for the heavyweight division, weighing only about 237 pounds, but was determined to prove he could cut it for the division. According to one of his interviews after his victory, he said, I knew I was going to be here. I knew this was always going to happen. I just put the work in, and you reap the rewards. He started by showing off his strength by fighting some street fighters, after which he made his first debut. On May 18th, 2017, Usman faced off against Derek Williams as part of the Tachi PF31, Diaz vs. Gibson preliminary card. It was a fight against a relatively experienced fighter, but he was able to hold his own. His career got off to a winning start when he defeated Derek Williams, who entered the bout with a 3-6-0 professional MMA record. When the fight started, Mohammed immediately tried to pin his opponent and go for a takedown, and he quickly ended the fight with a Kimura. His debut fight only lasted for 1 minute and 16 seconds in the very first round. He had defeated Derek Williams via submission. After this fight, Mohammed was definitely looking forward to his next fight, and just after two months, he was in the ring again, as he had promised not to have long breaks after a fight. Mohammed's second fight on TPF was with Datahero, which he won effortlessly by using the submission tactic he had used on Derek Williams. This was his second win by submission. In this third fight, which took place in November of 2017, his opponent, Ven Palazzo, had already studied Mohammed's tactics that he favored the Kimura Jiu-Jitsu, so he resisted it, although the fight ended in yet another victory for Mohammed Usman. Mohammed Usman lost his fourth fight though, one of only two fights he had lost in his entire career. In 2019, Mohammed Usman was struck with a tragedy. Nash Usman drowned in a pool in Arlington, Texas in 2019, which resulted in his tragic death. Nash was the son of Mohammed Usman. The youngster was rescued from the pool and taken to a nearby hospital, but his life was not saved. 
Nash Muhammad Usman was only two years old when he passed away. Any parent would be devastated by the loss of a child, so Usman had to quit wrestling for a while. With the support of his family and friends, Muhammad Usman found the inspiration to fight again. A greater role was played by his family friend and a wrestler in recovering his mental health after the loss of his son. His friend Richard Evans stood by him and made him start fighting again. Muhammad Usman discussed how he handled the death of his son in an interview with ESPN MMA. The heavyweight admitted that his little kid was the primary motivation for him to begin fighting. I got into arguments over my son Nash. He is the major reason I fight. We had him in 2016 and he drowned and died in 2019. This season, to UF30, is something I'm committing to my baby. I am aware that you are watching over me from above. You may be confident that I'll make you proud and demonstrate how far we've gone. Mohammed made his return to MMA in March 2019. After three rounds with his opponent, Frank Tati, the judges unanimously picked Mohammed Usman, bringing him again to the victory line. In December of that same year, the Nigerian wrestler had another fight with Rachi Code. In the 48 seconds of the first round, Mohammed Usman knocked Rachi out with a blow on the head and claimed yet another victory. It was sure nice to have him back, and you could say he loved ending his fights pretty quickly. Mohamed Usman moved to PFI, where he was offered more money. According to him, Mohamed stated that as much as his wrestling game is a sport, the game is also a business reason he had to join the PFI. Nevertheless, he lost his debut fight to Branson Sales by submission chokes on his neck in the second round. Now while Usman was a good fighter, Branson's experience might have just been too much for him to handle. Despite his first loss, he was able to make it to the final. His opponent in the final was Zach Pauga, a former partner in training. He was going to get a UFC contract if he became the ultimate fighter champion. Given the circumstances, Usman had the opportunity to display his abilities in front of a live audience on a UFC Fight Night main event. Although one that is confined to the UFC apex, but Usman's approach to this battle remained clear regardless. It will be just like any other fight he has on the program after he exits the building and enters the octagon. In an interview before the UFC, Usman stated, I'm simply treating it like the TUF house because I'm here at this exact time and opportunity. This is the final TUF match, another altercation in the TUF residence. I'm not going to ignore that. Everyone says, oh, it's your initial fight week in the UFC, you know. I haven't joined the UFC formally yet. My final match in the TUF house is this one. I won't be able to claim to be a UFC fighter until after this fight. I'll be permitted to don the UFC guard. That will be possible for me. But I'm not wearing anything UFC until then. After a series of intense training, the day of the finals was reached. Usman, 8-2 MMA, 1-0 UFC. Used a vicious left hand to finish Pauga, 5-1 MMA, 0-1 UFC. On Saturday at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. Pauga was knocked unconscious with a single conscious snatching strike that caused him to fall to the ground. At only 36 seconds in round two, Usman delivered a devastating flying follow-up punch that put the last nail in the coffin. Usman triumphed, taking the TUF30 heavyweight division title. In an interview with ESPN, he was asked how good it felt to become the ultimate fighter champion and he responded, it feels incredible. It feels like the start of my journey. It is day one. So this is my first day on the job in the UFC. Now I can put the UFC stuff on and feel accomplished. During the reality show's filming, he won exhibition fights against Mitchell Seip and Eduardo Perez by decisions. In his last six amateur fights, he has a record of 5-1. With the victory, he secured a six-figure UFC deal for himself. He won the heavyweight division of The Ultimate Fighter Season 30 by beating Zach Pauga at UFC on ESPN 40. Following his win, Francis Naganu took to his Twitter handle and tweeted, A 
new contender was born in the heavyweight division, and I want no business with this man. Congrats, brother. Kamaru Usman also took to his Twitter handle to congratulate his younger brother. Beyond proud, congrats. The two brothers, Mohammed and Kamaru Usman, have made a record as the only brothers to win UFC. Congrats to them, and we wish Mohammed Usman well as he prospers in his wrestling game. It was great, you know, we're still making history each and every day. First brothers ever to do this, you know, in the history of the sport. That's, uh, that's something big, you know, I think when we're done, they're gonna see how monumental our mark is on the sport. It's his time, now. We have come to the end of yet another amazing video. What was the most interesting part of Mohamed Usman's escapades? Drop them in the comment section. And last but not least, don't forget to comment and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. That'll be all for today, so see you next time.